I want to explain to you a pretty cool phenomenon that happens in chemistry and physics called the photoelectric effect. This is actually something that Einstein won a Nobel Prize for. And it turns out that when you shine light, now it can be a laser, it can be anything, when you shine light at the surface of a metal, it can be any metal, calcium, gold, zinc, in this example it's chromium, the light, depending on how much energy it has, passes that amount of energy on to the electrons in one of the atoms of the metal. In this case, whatever energy this photon has will be passed on to one of the electrons. That electron can be excited to a higher energy level. If the energy of the light is more than what's called the binding energy of the metal, then not only will the electron be excited out of the atom entirely, it will actually jump up out of the metal. Bam! There goes an electron. Another photon comes in. Bam! There goes another electron. And the electrons actually fly right out of the metal. And you obviously can't see them because they're electrons, but they're flying out of the metal. And it leaves the metal with a positive charge, because obviously you're losing negative charges. The question is, does the light have enough energy to eject the electrons? Well, we have to calculate the energy of the light first of all. The way you calculate energy from wavelength is with the formula hc over lambda, which is Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules seconds, times the speed of light, which is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Then you divide by the wavelength, which in this case is 400 nanometers. Now I've converted nanometers into times 10 to the negative 9 meters. That's just my own little conversion that I do for nanometers because my units have to match. So when I do this on my calculator, 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 times 3 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by 400 times 10 to the power of negative 9 I get 4.97 times 10 to the negative 19 seconds cancel, meters cancel, joules so, this light has this energy, and it takes 7.2 times 10 to the negative 19 joules of energy to eject an electron. So, this light obviously is not energetic enough, but if it was, and it hit the surface of the metal, electrons get shot out. It's the photoelectric effect. It's pretty cool. I have a few more videos talking about the math behind this. Check them out, and best of luck.